So Jed, um, oops, we want to go back to this one. What the heck happened there? Jed drops a um, 10 kilogram package off the Eiffel Tower after 3.2 seconds. How fast is it going? Um, this one's a little easier because, and we'll, we'll draw the picture, okay? So um, you can have some fun with it, but this is the Eiffel Tower, roughly. Okay. And um, this little stick figure guy, who's a risk taker, is Jed. Um, so he has a box, and the box is going down. We know that the box weighs 10 kilograms, but the weight doesn't matter, the mass, I should say. The mass doesn't matter. We know that delta T is going to be 3.2 seconds. Um, when he lets go of the box, how fast is that bad boy going? The instant he lets go, zero, right? Zero meters per second. We also know that G is going to be 9.8 meters per second in the negative direction. We'll have to factor that in when we go to do it in the equations. Um, they're asking us how fast it's moving, so they want the final velocity. So this is easy. We used the same equation last time. So the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity minus g times t. That's easy. So the final velocity is equal to, this is zero. Zero meters per second. So that goes away. Minus 9.8, oops. Perfectly drawn eight. That's a lot harder to do this than you guys would think. Eight what? Meters per second squared. That's what that is. Times 3.2 seconds. And I'll put it over one. I don't know why I do it that way. I just do. So now what happens with our units, um, one of these seconds will cancel with the second on the top, okay? So that means my final answer will be in meters per second, which is what, what I want because um, we're calculating a velocity. So I'm just going to say negative 9.8 uh, times... 3.2, and I get a uh, negative, wait, I feel like I'm missing something. Let me clear this out. I think I'm getting weird answers. I think I need to clear my calculator out. I think it, so we'll say minus 9.8, well, I'll remember the negative sign, times 3.2. There we go. That's better. All right. So, um, my final answer should be about 30, um, well, it was negative 31.4. Now, there's two ways to do this. If you look in the multiple choice, it'll say 31.4. But if you read the directions carefully, um, remember the negative is it just means that it's going in the negative direction right going down is positive going so the actual velocity um, is 31.4 meters per second I don't think you have an option I, I can't see it on my screen I think the actual option is 31.4 oh is it okay so 31.4 okay um, the negative is just referring to the direction now normally they would they in the and here's why remember how we talked about displacement the difference between speed and velocity it didn't ask the velocity it said how fast is it going 
So when it says how fast is it going, it's referring to the speed. So speed doesn't, it, it doesn't have a direction. So we don't, I don't know. I would have preferred to ask you guys about velocity. So if the question said, what is the final velocity of the box, then you'd have to say negative 31.4. But since it said how fast is the box going, you would just say 31.4 because you completely ignore the direction. You're, you're ignoring the fact that going downward is a negative. Okay. Any questions on that one?